So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The more the Most High exposed real history and facts, the more the seed of the fallen will cover up the truth with the lies they have been telling for multiple generations. The seed of the fallen do not deny the truth about their origins. They choose to dismiss the conversation by calling the people who put this truth out as racist. The workers of iniquity try to divert the listener's attention to history that is fabricated by them. The Most High said in the book of Maccabees that the heathens opened the book of the laws to paint the likeness of their images and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. If the seed of the fallen were original, why do they need to include their images into history and the scriptures? The seed of the fallen have been altering the scriptures and history from the beginning to assume the identity of the indigenous black people. The workers of iniquity flood television and the media with images of themselves as the dominant people. Procreate with the indigenous people to gain birth rights. Once their numbers grew, they conquered the indigenous people and take everything that belonged to them. The Most High made man in his image and likeness. The scriptures confirm this in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. There is nothing racist about saying the Most High made man in his image and likeness. The people the Most High made in His image happen to be the indigenous black people all over the world. That is not racism, but facts. Black people are the original people. Since black people are the original people, this would conclude they are the people that were made in the image of the Most High. When the Most High breathed the breath of life into the man, the Most High created a dark-skinned man with woolly hair. The world knows him as Adam. The Most High did not breathe the breath of life into a pale skin, blue eyes, blonde hair man. If he did, how come a white male cannot produce children with dark skin with woolly hair? The same goes for the hybrid woman. The only time the white male and female come close to having children with dark skin with woolly hair is when they procreate with an indigenous person. A male and a female from the Caucasian species cannot give birth to a dark-skinned, woolly-haired person. That is facts. If the Caucasian species were the people the Most High made in His image and likeness, the world would be populated with pale skin, straight hair, colored eyes, and colored hair people only. Black people would not exist. The hybrid species cannot give birth to an indigenous person. Too many Israelites and indigenous people have fallen for this lie. The one drop rule was created to deceive the indigenous people into increasing the hybrids population. Only the black woman carry the Eve gene. The black woman can give birth to a child with any features. The hybrid woman do not have the Eve gene. The beast system confirmed this as well. Why is it when I state this truth, it is considered racism and hate speech? The beast system put this information out there and the workers of iniquity are not chastising the sciences and the people that reveal this truth. If a black person revealed this truth, they are ridiculed. That is because we are not the same. If the hybrid woman cannot produce children with various genes, how could the Caucasian species be the default today? How come the beast system parade the hybrid species in our faces as if they carry the dominant gene? How could a people with little melanin give birth to a person full of melanin? Recessive genes cannot give birth to the dominant gene. The physical and genetic makeup of the seed of the fallen is not dominant. 
Colored hair, eyes, and pale skin is a sign of a person with recessive genes and have little to no melanin. The beast system convinced many to believe the recessive genes that stems from the seed of the fallen are genes to covet. Why would anyone want to covet recessive genes? Only a person who is not knowledgeable would set up their bloodline for failure. The seed of the fallen are aware when they procreate with an indigenous person, they are strengthening their genes. The indigenous people believe they are improving their bloodline when they procreate with a person with recessive genes. Do not be deceived, my people. Are recessive genes better than the original? How come when you eat GMO food, it destroys your body? Many of the illnesses the people suffer from comes from the genetically modified food. How does GMO food improve your health? When you eat organic food, it gives your body the nutrients that it needs to maintain your health. Recessive genes like pale skin is a defect from the original gene. The black woman possessed the original gene. The B system calls the original gene the Eve gene or mitochondrial Eve. The black woman is the mother. Without the black woman, nobody else would be here. We live in a society that disrespects and mistreats the original woman. Israelites do not expect the beast system to value the black woman. Everything that glorifies the most high is an enemy to the kingdom of darkness. Do not expect praises from the beast system. The beast system would tear the black woman down to destroy her. The beast system wants to replace her with the hybrid woman. The hybrid woman is praise in this culture. No matter what the kingdom of darkness does, the hybrid woman cannot give birth to humanity. That job, the Most High gave to the black woman. What the world fetishized like blonde hair, pale skin, colored eyes are recessive genes. The job of the kingdom of darkness is to get the indigenous people to love the beast system and everything in it to separate them from the Most High. The indigenous people are accepting the illusions of the beast system. They worship pale skin and colored eyes because the corporations owned by their enemies tell them that is what beauty is. Israelites, idolatry comes in many forms. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. The reason the kingdom of darkness placed colored eyes and pale skin on a pedestal, because that is the physical attributes of the seed of the watchers who sinned. Satan can only imitate the Most High. He cannot duplicate what the Most High created. When the fallen angels procreated with the daughters of men, the offspring of the sons of gods are not the same with the indigenous people. That is why the scripture said they were giants. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. There is a significant difference between the seed of the fallen and the original indigenous dark people. The fallen angels are a part of the kingdom of darkness. Satan is the god of this world, and the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Satan will set up the people that is a part of his kingdom to control the earth. Remember, the Most High gave men dominion on earth. But thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. The Most High never gave the seed of the fallen permission or rights to rule this earth. The kingdom of darkness is ruling due to the fall of the indigenous people. Israelites, the Most High is perfect and made his creation to be perfect. In addition, the ability to reproduce itself. Recessive genes are not efficient. There is no way the seed of the fallen, whose genetics are recessive, could be fruitful and multiply like the Most High command of Adam and Eve. The demons in the flesh need the indigenous people to find success. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. 
The various Caucasian species cannot be fruitful to fill the earth. They cannot give birth to the variety of people that are living on earth today. Remember, a person with recessive genes could only give birth to another person with the same genes. The hybrids must breathe back into the indigenous community to maintain their population. The Most High created the male and female one time. Yah did not create humans multiple times. When the Most High destroyed all flesh with the flood, Yah preserved Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. The Most High preserved a certain number of male and female animals from all species to repopulate the animal kingdom after the flood. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. The Most High did not say to himself, Let me form another species of man on earth after he destroyed all flesh in Noah's generation. The Most High used Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. Where did the other species of people come from? The various other species of people such as the Neanderthals came after the Most High made man in his image and likeness. The beast system wants to hide the origin of the seed of the fallen. They never want to disclose the beginning of the so-called Neanderthals they refer to as our cousins. Just like the indigenous people have a beginning that is recorded in the Bible and history can confirm their origins, our so-called Neanderthal cousins come from somewhere. The Neanderthals did not appear out of thin air. The beast system have all this wisdom they want to indoctrinate the indigenous people with. Somehow, they do not know the origins of the Neanderthals. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. The scriptures reveal the origin to all the species of people that dwell on earth. The fallen seed came from the lesser men's flesh and the rebellious angels. The scriptures do not reveal any other beginnings for our so-called distant relatives, the Neanderthals, or any other groups of people that are dwelling on the earth. It's either you came from the dust of the ground from the Most High or from the fallen angels that infiltrate the Most High's creation. Although the beast system do not want to confirm the origin of the other species of mankind, the workers of iniquity certainly have displayed who they are in their culture. There is a lot of symbolism in the beast system. The scriptures reveal many names for Satan. Lucifer, devil, and dragon are a few names for the ancient fallen angel, Satan. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The dragon is a prominent symbol in the Asian culture. Many Asians believe the dragon is a symbol of power, strength, and luck. Many Asians worship the dragon. You could find the idol dragon in the scriptures numerous times. Chapter 12 in the book of Revelation mentioned the dragon on several occasions. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered or to devour her child as soon as it was born. The scriptures talk about Leviathan in Isaiah chapter 27 verse 1 of a great dragon serpent that lives in the sea. The Most High has spoken on the judgment reserved for Leviathan. In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan the piercing serpent, even Leviathan that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. The Asian idol, the Dragon King, is a serpent dragon that ruled the seas. The Dragon King control the waters and weather. The Dragon King is a marine spirit. You should know by now by the many teachings on this channel about water spirits that marine spirits are the most diabolical and stubborn spirits. In addition, the marine kingdom is the largest division in Satan's kingdom. 
Marine spirits are responsible for the many evil we see in the beast system, especially when it comes to the alphabet community and sexual sins. Do your research on the dragon in the Asian culture. The dragon king many Asians worship is the same Leviathan serpent dragon mentioned in Isaiah and the book of Job. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? The Asian dragon king is very real, the scriptures confirm. The dragon king represents many idols under the disguise of a dragon. The dragon can be Leviathan, other unclean spirits, and Satan. Yes, it is possible for one symbol to represent multiple spirits. The story about the man in the tombs is our example in the scriptures. He was possessed with many spirits. Before Yahshua cast the unclean spirits into the pigs, Yahshua asked the unclean spirit its name. The spirit representing all the spirits controlling the man answered and said, His name is Legion, for we are many. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. The dragon in the Asian culture are many spirits. The same way the God in the flesh that came to save the world in religion represents the Messiah and God. The graven image Jesus that have the appearance of the seed of the fallen is Satan in disguise. Remember, Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light. Satan's ministers also disguise themselves. Religion is home to high level workers of iniquity. And no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. In the scriptures, the dragon symbolized Satan. The dragon god that many Asians worship in their culture and value is also Satan. The seed of the fallen can boldly display who they are because many indigenous people are not paying attention. Everything is acceptable in the beast system and many disguise themselves behind religion. The Asians are a part of the Caucasoid fallen angel species. The Asians have Neanderthal DNA. I believe the people with Neanderthal DNA have more Neanderthal DNA than the 1 to 3% being reported. Some Asians believe they are descendants of the dragon. The book of Revelations prophesy about a dragon that will war with the remnant of the people of the Most High. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. The Most High must open your eyes to see what is hiding in plain sight. There are many television shows that glorify the kingdom of darkness. Lawlessness is praised in the beast system. The beast system represents the kingdom of darkness. Music, fashion, and TV shows that praise Satan and corrupt the indigenous people will break records. From songs like WAP that went number one to television shows like Lucifer. If this society were a society that feared the Most High, the abominations we are witnessing today would not happen. The workers of iniquity have been making it known who they are and the kingdom they represent through symbolism. Because the Most High is exposing the seed of the fallen, the workers of iniquity have a lot of new information about Neanderthals. They want to speak on the intelligence of the Neanderthals. They are looking to shift the perception of the seed of the fallen to influence the indigenous people to accept the Neanderthals as one of them. In addition, the people who have this gene would embrace their Neanderthal DNA. The lies that were told will be dismissed. I noticed since the Most High have been revealing a lot of information about the seed of the fallen, newfound information are surfacing daily. You will know them by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. The scriptures talk about the deep sleep many people of the Most High are in. While the indigenous black people are lost in their slumber, they have forgotten who they are. Do not allow your enemies to tell your story, nor control your image. As our salvation nears, the people of the Most High must wake up. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. 
The Most High know when it is the right time to wake up his people. Deep information such as this is hard for a person who's not mature to receive. That is why many mistake messages like this for hate speech and racism. They let emotions get the best of them. The Most High must be the one to open your eyes at the predestined time. I am glad to know the people of the Most High are waking up. Their tribulations are causing them to ask questions. Their trials are pushing them to seek the Elohim of Israel. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swore unto them. The seed of the fallen and the heathens will never change who they are to be accepted by the indigenous black people. The workers of iniquity are not throwing away their idols. The indigenous black people have been conforming to the standards of this world, forsaking the Elohim of Israel to be like the heathens. They have yet to benefit from following the heathens. The time has come for you to seek wisdom and understanding. Let go of the beast system. The Most High is making known what was hidden. Israelites, you are so much more than the beast system acknowledge. Seek the Most High to understand the mystery. Israelites, only the Most High could nourish your spirit. If you have an ear to hear, let them hear. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust.